Hello everybody, welcome to the video. Today we're playing on Facebook Monday. Today, as you can see on the screen, the tremendous game is Crash Bandicoot 2 Four Tetris Strikes Back. It came out in 1997 by Crash Dog. Bandicoot. Tremendous game, completed it many, many times. It's a long play in the first game, now it's time to long play in the second. But yeah, it's going to be a difficult day, but anyways, what I do is to change all these games, Crash Bandicoot 2, and let's go. Crash? Crash? Crash! My battery is fried. Make yourself useful, big brother, and bring an extra battery for me. Okay, this is the game. This is Crash Bandicoot 2, Cortex Strikes Back, a platform video game developed by Naughty Dog and published by Sony Computer Entertainment for the PlayStation. It's the second game in the Crash Bandicoot series and the sequel to the original game. Brilliant game, really, really good game. However, the first game was one of the first games I played on the PlayStation, which made me want a PlayStation so badly. This is another tremendous game. You can't go wrong with Naughty Dog's games of the Crash Bandicoot games. We're a little bit picked on once they left the scene, but take nothing away from what they've done since then. But this is a great game. Now, it's going to be quite a long video today. I'll try and edit down as much as I possibly can for you. Well, well, well. If it isn't Crash Bandicoot, welcome. I apologize for the crude means used to bring you here, but I rather expect a written invitation would have been turned down. I need your help. Surrounding you are a series of five doors. Through each door lies a well-hidden crystal. The crystals look like this. Bring me the crystals, Crash. That is all I will say for now. We will speak again. Okay, this is the walk room. Each walk room has five levels and a boss battle. You can do them in any order you like. We'll start off with Turtle Woods. Okay, this is the first level. This is Turtle Woods. Taking place on the fictional group of islands near Australia, Crash Bandicoot 2 follows the adventures of a bandicoot named Crash. Crash is abducted by a serious villain, Dr. Neil Cortez, who tricks him into thinking he wants to save the world. Crash is thrust into several parts of Insanity Island in order to gather crystals that will allow Cortez to contain the power of an upcoming planetary alignment to keep the planet from being destroyed. Crash's sister, Coco, and Cortez's former assistant, Dr. Nitrous Bio, try to warn him about Cortex with the latter urging Crash to gather gems, not crystals. That was all to read while doing this, but it's another superb game by Naughty Dog. A long game, so a lot of editing is going to be used here. Now the first game I've completed many, many times, and this game is superb, once again. Now in the original game, you can jump and spin. You can do that as well, but this time we have a few additional skills. He can slide, he can crawl, he also has a double jump and a body slam. But like the original, you also have to pick up Wobber Fruit. Pick up 100 Wobber Fruit to gain another life. At the moment, I've got 80. Right, slide to get to further ground. Really, really handy. We've got 7 lives now. Right, this next bit is difficult. I've always struggled here. Try and get all those boxes to gain a gem. There we go. Now those enemies you can't kill. I think they're the only enemies in this game you can't. Once they stick their head in the ground, then you can't use them to get to higher ground. And that's got to be so many times in the past. Right. You can kill enemies by spinning and jumping. Now these will get rid of all nitros, and they must not be touched. Avoid all costs. There we go. Okay, back in the open again. Looks like English summer weather around here. Now, of course, in this game, we also have the Aki Aki Mask. And they work exactly the same way. Pick up one mask, and you can sustain another hit. Pick up two masks and you can sustain two additional hits. Pick up three masks and it makes you invincible for a short period of time. But it doesn't protect you from falling into the bottomless pit. And in some levels, water. Right, that first level was actually a secret stage. This is a bonus stage. I think every level has them. Great way to find additional wobble fruit, additional lives, and of course, those missing boxes. There we go. They can't spin in the mud. There we go. Don't fall into the bottomless pit. And of course, you spin and jump on enemies. And they pretty much die in the same way. So all we need now is one more mask and we're invincible. And you just run into the enemy and you're safe. There we go, just thought about you, there is another mask. There we go, Crash Bandicoot, you are invincible. You are a killing machine. Right, we've got to kill these rats. Once you kill all the rats, a mushroom will appear. And Mano will be very, very impressed with that. Well, that mask is superb for gaining boxes, which is really hard to get to. Right, we need one more Wobber Fruit to gain another life. There's so many lives in this game. 
Now, every pit you go into, one more rat is introduced. Right, another life, there we go. 30 lives, and there is our first crystal. There's 25 in this game. We still need one more wobble fruit. There we go. Superb. We should get a gem for this level. Hopefully. We'll find out in a moment. There you go. Boom and pow. First level is done. Crash Bandicoot, we've got a lot of work to do today. Jump off the pad. There you go. One level done. One crystal found. One gem found. Cue the Crash Bandicoot dance. Let him go. Fair play. He's happy. I don't blame him. Well done, Crash. I knew I could rely on you. Now listen carefully. These holograms are hard to maintain. During the course of my intellectual pursuits, I have stumbled across a force that threatens to destroy the world. Crystals are the only means of containing it. The fate of the world is at stake. It is imperative, therefore, that you bring them to me. Okay, next level is Snow Go. Okay, next level. Now we keep the mask. That means we need one more and we're invincible again. There you go. Go into a crate. Go into a nitro. Like crazy bandicoot you are. But you're invincible while you do it. Certainly makes picking up boxes a lot easier. And of course, this level is going to have ice. Which is difficult in a game like this. But you're even trying to fight all the boxes. But having a mask on your face does make it a lot easier. It wears off. There you go, it's worn off. Put up one more mask and we'll be again. So avoid the nitros at all costs. They are nasty. Right, there we go. I love this game, the fact that it goes from sideways perspective to 3D perspective. It's really, really well done. Really, really superb. And they can also kill enemies by using that slide. Really, really nice touch. Now I'm going to long play the third game as well. Another superb game that we completed many, many times. Every time you see a C box, that is actually a checkpoint. So when you die, you spawn at the last one you saw. Don't get crushed by that, or you're going to see your flatmate. Okay, another bonus area. There we go. And I've got loads and loads and loads of statistics to read about this game. But let's try and take it one stage at a time. That extra height jump is absolutely superb. Again, I'm going to try and get through this video as fast as I can, otherwise the video is going to be absolutely super duper long. There we go. Short and sweet. There we go. Lots of lives, lots of other fruit. More boxes. Now, crates come in all different shapes and forms. We are invincible again. Secrets. We have a nitro. I got that get rid of all the nitros on that level. There we go, there's another crystal. We have two now, we still have 23 yes to find. Right. Put the box up there, which you couldn't see, but I heard it. Makes these two available. Now also, TNTs do also count as boxes. So if you're looking for all the gems, you need to find all the TNTs as well. There we go, we need it there. That should be a gem. There we go, superb. That make not, not just Bio happy, and the crystal will make Cortex very happy. There we go. Now these sort of sections of the game are all edit down over the course of the video, which will bring the length of this video down. But there's a crystal and a gem. Now you might notice that level where there was actually a red gem. We'll try and refresh my memory how to get that one, but I'll try and feature it in this video some way. But there we go, another one done. Cortex gather crystals, yet you have acquired a gem. Interesting. <laughs> well, Crash, <laughs> know this. As long as you are allied with Cortex, you are my sworn enemy, and I will do anything in my power to, to, to stop you. <laughs> if the fate of the world is truly your concern, you must g g g gather the gems. Not the crystals. If you obtain all 42 gems, I can use them to 
focus a laser. <laughs> a laser beam that will destroy Cortex and the space station he's created. Until then, I must use my forces to stop you from gathering crit- So as you expect, Cortex is rather confused right now. But there we go, we'll carry on. Hang eight. Cortex Rocks Back received positive reviews from critics and is widely considered superior to its predecessor. Much of the praise went to the game's graphics controls and music, while criticism was focused on the Tron era gameplay, lack of level variety, easy boss levels, and the devotion of a practicing game. Right, this level has a lot of water. Whether you've got a mask on your face or not, you cannot go in the water. It will be an instant kill. And you cannot have a mask on your face when you're on the jet board. And this is the jet board, features in three levels. Hang 8, Air Crash, and Plant Food. So avoid the mines and avoid the whirlpools, and try and keep your mask intact, and pick up any crates you see along the way. On the bottom right corner of the screen is a time. Do it in that time and you gain another gem, but you cannot do the bonus section. Well you can, but I'll actually keep another time altogether, but we're going to do that today. Right, bonus section. They cannot die in a bonus section. Yes, you can fall into a bottomless pit, but you won't lose a life. Let's go back and have another go. Get some more Wumper Fruits, more Lights, more Crates, Slide and Crawl. Now some of these crates, you can jump on them many, many times. You're very time to shoot when you're trying to crawl it. So we'll do that today. Another Life, another Fruit. There's a pad. There we go. This level's not overly long. So now, that time has gone. So we're not going to be getting all the crates anyway, because we don't have the blue gem. If we have the blue gem, that's where we use it. So, we cannot get the gem here. We can jump on Hippo's backs. Don't stand on for too long, so go into the water. There you go. There's another checkpoint, and there's another checkboard. Now, you can also do skills in the air, and you can also use the boost. Right, avoid the mines. At the moment, all is good, all is well. Crash Bandicoot, you are a show-off. Very skilled Bandicoot. Now, I believe this appeared in one more other Crash Bandicoot game. It didn't feature in three. Right, in the level, there's no give gem here. No gem here whatsoever. We don't have the boxes. Because we don't have the gem to do so. We need a blue gem. So, go to the exit. We have the crystal. There we go. So that one actually has two gems. Three crystals. Not bad. I see you are getting the hang of it. I need to conserve power. I will communicate with you again after you retrieve the fifth crystal. Every five crystals you find, you then have a boss battle. Right, next up is the pits. Okay, next level. This is a tough one because this one is actually broken down into two sections. Doesn't sound all that challenging, but if you want to get the gem, it's quite challenging. Anyway, the game went on to become one of the best selling PlayStation video games of all time. Place its predecessor as the highest selling Western title in Japan at the time, selling more than 800,000 copies in the country by April 1998. A remastered version was included in Clash of Bandicoot Insane Trilogy Collection, released on the PlayStation 4 in June 2017 and ported to other platforms in June 2018. There we go, we are still invincible! It makes it so much easier! Now you've got to go down certain sections to get all the crates. You don't have to collect all the crates, but if you want to get all the gems, you can do so. Now we have armadillos, also have tortoises, and some of them have saws, and some of them have spikes. Depending on where they are, you either need to spin them, slide them, or jump on them. Now when they're in their shell, you get to use their shell as a jumping pad. Right, there is that section. We need that very soon. Jump on the bird's heads and explode. 50 Wumper Fruits. There we go. Crystal. Pound. 68 Wumper Fruits. Slide into them and then spin them. One of those. Jump on those ones. Right, so now we've got to go down screen. Doesn't sound all that challenging, but trouble is when there's so many bottoms pits and spiky turtles, it's quite difficult and you can't see where you're going half the time. So take it nice and steady. I'm going to try and get as many gems as I possibly can. There we go, 74, 83, 24 lights, take it nice and steady, we still have our mask. No we don't, we do, but not the same way it was before. So 
Oh, this one's spin. Spin and tack. Yeah, take it nice and steady. These tortoises, you don't see down your usual reptile houses. Checkpoint. I'm in trouble. Very nearly fell into a bottomless pit. Once I see the bit divide, I'll go back and hopefully it will be safe. Safe earth, should we say. Ooh, the bottomless pit to contend with. Keep it there. Uh, you also do uh, additional bumper fruit when you kill an enemy as well. Woo! My lord, that was close. Right, is it safe? Yes. Right, now it should be easier now. Right, we took one hit. I'm fairly happy with that. So to be invincible again, we need to pick up two more masks. Enemies don't respawn. I don't think they do. There we go, have some of that. I don't even know we've done the bonus section yet. I don't think we have. We'll find out soon enough. We also have more pits where rats take place. There we go, that was so much easier going forward than backwards. Checkpoint. Right, there we go. We've been in this little area before, but this time it can be more of them. Spin and we'll spin attack. Then, a mushroom up here. Okay. There we go. We haven't done it yet. Okay. Now these, you cannot spin. The only way you can break these is by doing a crazy body slam. And Crash Bandicoot does it very, very well. They also featured in future games. Alright. All through there. And this one involves a bit of backtracking. There you go, Crash Bandicoot. You're so good at it. Demonstrate it again. Super. <laughs> very good. There we go. Right, we hit that and we go back. But going back is never an easy task because some of these boxes are now weaker. Again, slide and take it nice and steady. Two more lives. There we go. A well timed jump. That is a well timed jump. That was close. Right, on we go. 28 lives. Should get a gem here if I don't make any silly mistakes. Get them quickly before it gets out of control. There we go. Not done yet. This one is actually quite long, actually. Okay. But this is the last one. Gotta be it now, surely. Yes! Gem! Boom pow! That was tough! Well done, mate! There we go. Next up is Crash Dash. Does it say what it says in the tin? Right, boulders. They've done this before. It was tremendous back then. It's even more tremendous now and more challenging with more hazards. This is where Crash Bandicoot and Raiders of Lost Ark are combined again. Now this time we have three more additions. We have mines. They don't actually kill you, they just slow you down. You can also be electrified. That's an instant kill. You can also fall down to the bottom of this pit. That's an instant kill. And getting flattened by a great big boulder is an instant kill. And if possible, get as many wobble fruit as you can and get those crates. Now the boulder will actually destroy the crates for you. But if it's a normal crate, it won't count as you getting them. So you have to get them yourself. But nitros do count. So, Bold will help you with that one. But let's keep going. If you want to get the gem, you have to break the crates, not the boulder. Alright, got a life. And this one does also have a bonus section. There you go. Boulder helped a lot with that. I love the animation. He looks absolutely terrified. I don't blame him. There's a crystal. Let's mellow down with a bonus section. Okay, on we go. Let's get some more additional Wobble Fruit lights and boxes. Now I believe one of those comes crashing down on top of your head. I think that is an instant kill. It must be. Alright. Some lights are in very difficult situations. Now these bouncy ones, I believe, take eight bounces. However, if you jump on one, then go to another one, then return to it, it actually reduces its bounce by quite a lot. 
think it reduces from eight to two. So yeah, this might need some editing down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There we go. Superb. Okay, lots of wobble fruit there. Okay, let's go. Use these pads well. Get some space between you and the boulders. Are we ready? Let's go. Get those crates. Avoid mines. Don't get electrified. Don't fall into box pits. There we go. Did you put us in very different situations? Keep going, keep, keep going. electrify while you do it. Woo! There we go. 33 lives, 22 wobble fruits. And a gem. Superb. Well, that's Crash. You're safe now. <laughs> One day's work. Listen up. We are not without enemies. Some of them you may even recognize. Although they cannot harm you inside this warp room, they can attack you on your way to the next one. To get to the next warp room, use the platform that appears in the center of the room. Good luck. Okay, five levels done. Boss battle arriving. So we jump on the pads, we go up. Ripperoo! Ripperoo is back and madder than ever. He's had time to perfect his attack, so make sure you don't try to stand toe to toe with this one. He's back and he's crazier than ever, but this time, again, it's based around TNT attacks. But also, nitros this time. Now, we put these TNTs on the floor. Those ones you can walk on, but don't do it when they explode. Only a fool would do that. But he also does it with nitros, and those ones must be avoided all costs. That explosion is so big, it actually stuns him. That's when you've got a pounce. You'll do it three times. But this one's fairly straightforward. Every time you play it, it's always the same pattern each time. There we go. Get to a safe distance. You don't have a mask on this one. In fact, I don't think you have any masks on any of them. Right, stay here, we're safe. There we go. One more like that. I believe it's over here. Just. Uh, down here. I think it's here. I think. What do we see? There we go. Good we'll plow. Have some of that. Cue the Crash Bandicoot dog. He does it very well. So that takes us to the next warp room. Well done, Crash. <laughs> I see that Ripper Roo failed to prove much of a challenge yet again. But back to business. There are crystals to be gathered. Twenty to be exact. The planets will align shortly, all thirteen of them. And this will create a power great enough to rip the Earth apart. Properly utilized, however, the crystals can absorb and contain the energy. Crash, is that you? I've been looking everywhere. I don't have much time to tell you this. You have to be careful. Trusting Cortex seems a little unwise. Crash, I can't keep the data pack open this Crash, you need to... Okay, warp room two. We go on to Snowbiz. Okay, next level, we're going back out into the cold. Now, Cortex Runs Back is a platformer game where the player controls Crash Bandicoot. The goal of the game is to gather the 25 crystals of Crash Bandicoot's nemesis, Dr. Neo Cortex. The crystals are scattered between 25 levels, which are accessible via warp rooms, which are hub areas in the game. The level is cleared by collecting a respective crystal and reaching the end of the path, which returns Crash back to the warp room. 
Warp rooms contain five levels, which must be cleared. Once all cleared, the player must defeat a boss battle. Which then brings on the next warp room. The player is given a sudden quantity of life, which will last if Crash Bandicoot is attacked by an enemy, falls in water or pit. If the player runs out of life, the game is over. However, it can be continued at the continued screen. Again, that was all to do while playing this game. Right, we have headshots. Avoid the headshots. I think we know you've got hedgehogs in a place like this. We'll avoid them. Right, we're not going to get in all the boxes because we don't have the red gem. We'll do one's best. Let's get what we can. Don't get crushed. My ice is never a nice thing. However, that slide is tremendous. Great for getting additional boxes. We're gaining access to those additional boxes. There we go. Right, keep going, Jamie. Doing well. Avoid the evil headshot. Right, down we go. So much going on. So much to avoid. Right, some are hidden. Use the, use the double jump. Right, not far away from the next bonus section. That was close. That was really close. My lord. There we go. Right, again. A little bit of mellow down. Right, again. That big jump is definitely needed here. Oh my lord. Right. We'll come back here later on today. Hit that. Again, more crates, more lice, more wobble fruits. What happens in a bonus round? Go. Such a fantastic game. Right. I'm not gonna risk those. I've got biscuit for a biscuit. Is that one I will. Right, use the slide. There we go. Look at that. Fantastic. Right, on we go. We still have the mask intact. Alright, Mr. Life. Never mind, we'll go. Checkpoints. Right, the return of old friends. The rollers are back in place. Right, mask is going well. One more and we are invincible. 55 more fruit. There's the crystal. Have it. Try for penguins. Alright, lots and lots of water fruit. Lots and lots of ice. There you go. We're there. We're going to hit the end there, but not the end of the world. But again, we won't get the gem because we don't have the coloured gem to do it. There we go. We're through. Next level was Air Crash. Now, Crash has the ability to jump into the air and land on enemy characters. Spin in a torpedo-like fashion, not enemies off the screen. Slide across the ground and perform a body slam, which can break certain objects. You can also jump further than you could before by jumping immediately after a slide. All these techniques can be used in offensive measures against most enemies. Enemies with deadly top sides cannot be jumped on, while enemies that attack from the front will have spikes that must be jumped on or undergo a body slam. Enemies with sharp necklines, such as the frill neck lizards or long legged robots with heated circumferences, can only be defeated with crash slides into them. Again, deal to read. Right, another tough level. Now, again, this has some secret areas. But I'm going to try and make it through safe and sound. We're back on the water again. Pick up those crates. Avoid the mines and use the ramps. Now, quite a few levels do appear more than once, but every time they do, it's more difficult. Which you expect. But some of them you do have to plan ahead quite a lot. Like jumping over a fence and we're jumping into a mine. Right, make our way through here without getting blown up. That's never going to ruin your day. Keep doing his though, there's a checkpoint. Right, wait patiently, wait for the right time. There we go. Right, bonus section, go for it. We arrived. Right, no water here, but we are testing his skills once again. In many, many ways. Hit these switches. Even blow them up. And body slam them. There you go. Does it well. Does it very, very well. Getting wobble fruit and crates is a difficult task. There you go, superb! Well done, Crash! Superb work! 
Okay, let's go. Let's go get that crystal. Let's go to plant. There goes Crash. Perfectly be done. Avoid the water. Pick up a mask. Pick up a knife. Let the TNT do their work. Yeah, we've absolutely annihilated that plant. Right, back in the water, but not yet. We get a few more crates first. Use the slide. Coming back is just as difficult as getting to it. There we go. Superb work. Right, avoid the nitros. Avoid the mines. Let's get this level done. Really, really good. Beat this game many, many times. Great fun. There we go. With the whirlpool. Oh, maybe didn't. There we go. We made it. Not done yet though. Avoid the nitros. There we go. No gem this time. We was way off. We still had a lot more to do. There we go. We'll go with that. Well done, Crash. Right, next level is Bear It. Maybe a little buddy there. Next level, and the first game we had a hog. On this one we've got a polar bear. Yeah, why not? Go for it, mate. Unfortunately, no mask on this one. So everything is an instant kill. Fall into a wall type will turn into an ice block. Hitting a wall is definitely gonna knock some senses to you. Hitting a TNT crate is definitely gonna be a boo boo pow. Getting killed by a well or a seal is definitely not a nice way to go. So basically avoid everything. Apart from those crates. Hit those. It's not an easy task though. And this character did appear in future games, including Crash Team Racing. He actually drove a car in that one. They can do a small jump, a big jump, and if you do the charge, you can do an even further jump. You don't need it on this level. This level. The later ones you do. Right, checkpoints. We've got one through. We've got 88 of them, 89 now. Don't get blown up. With the whales. They're a whale at a time. Some of these crates are difficult to get. Checkpoints. So many nitros. Three small jumps. One, two, three. Looks absolutely tremendous. Still to this day. Got it. Superb. Bobber fruit. Got them. There we go. Wendy, I can fly. But there's actually a hidden section on this one, but again, we're gonna go for the basics. There is, hopefully. A gem! Superb! Well done, Crash! Brilliant! Absolutely brilliant! Okay, this is Crash Crush! It's another boulder level. It's Indiana Bandicoot! Right, lots to see, lots to do, lots to avoid. Again, try to get the crates if you can. Now, some of them are in very, very difficult situations, especially the last one. You've got to get some serious distance between you and the boulder. Right, avoid the pits. Short and sweet. There's an end there. Now you've got to use the slide on this one quite a lot. Use the slide, avoid getting electrified. Alright, let's go up here. Why not? No boulders here. We're going the wrong way. But we'll find it's just crates. There we go. Superb. Let's take the lift. It's a shortcut. Okay, a little breather. <clears throat> Let's go, Crash Bandicoot. Got a lot to do. Let's go. Avoid Bobber's pits. Avoid mines. Uh, uh, Bobber fruit. 16 Bobber fruit. Alright. Oh right, well. Work's not done. Checkpoints. Go. Some mines in very difficult places. Alright, we should be okay. Right, bonus rounds. There we go. Right, I'm not going to collect everything, just get the boxes. That's what we're here for. There 
There we go. Only Crash and Bandicoot could do that and get up and shake it off. Right. However, right, it's work, it's not done. There we go. 29. Superb. Okay. The final one. And it's supposed to be all. Respect for a final one. Checkpoint. Go. Get as much distance as you possibly can. Good, that's really good. Gonna need it. He's got to be back. Oh, just what a skin of your teeth, Crash Bandicoot! Woohoo! Please with that. Have you awarded? This is on ice. That took ages. I couldn't get it. Did the worst bit. Struggle with ice. There you go. <laughs> that was tough. He survived. Crash crush. Gem confirmed. Diamond confirmed. Dance confirmed. And even he approves. Fair play. Right, next up is an ill deal. Next level is the Eel Deal. We all know what they can do. Right, another tough level on the way. The electric eel has three pairs of dominal organs that can produce electricity. The main organ, the hunter's organ, and the sack organ. These organs make up four-fifths of the body and give the electric eel the ability to generate two types of electric organ discharges, low voltage and high voltage. These organs are made of electrocytes, lined up so current of ions can flow through them Unstacked, so each one adds a potential difference. It's never going to harm Crash Bandicoot, as well as these turbines, avoid the turbines. Right, we do not want to get electrocuted. Right, we're in a sewer. This is not how the TV movie was itself would live. But they might do, I don't know. But there's a lot to see, a lot to do, a lot to avoid. But also, we have mutated rats. They have spikes on the sides, so avoid them at all costs, or jump on their heads, the only way you can do it. I like only go in the water when it's not been electrified. At the moment, we are invincible. Now we're going to go this way first. There you go. Then go this way. We are safe from everything, including mutated rats and electric eels. There you go. Bonus section. And we still have a mask on our face. Not anymore. Okay. On we go. Collect those wobble fruits. Hit those switches. There you go. Now, don't you speed it up? Even though it's a crazy way of doing it. So your fool would do that. Yeah, this can take quite some time. That needed editing down. They contain eight bounces each. Right, that's a lot of bounces. And that's a lot of lights. 50 lights. There we go. 17 Whopper Fruit. On we go. And we go left first, that's where we find the crystal. And again, Crash Bandicoot, we need your expert belly flop skills. So you're waiting to break these blocks. Now, in Crash Bandicoot 3, they did introduce a few new skills, including the bazooka. That would probably work. We don't have it here. Alright. Nitros and electric eels is not a nice combination. You can do combos. One can actually be hit, but then hit another one. Or another two in this case. Yeah. Again, we need your skills. Only you can do it. <laughs> That's straight on his face. Dear, oh dear. And there's also another skill we haven't seen yet. You can actually also hang from railings, like so. He's very good. Also, if you do his spin attack, I'll do it as well. Press X to jump down. Right, goodbye nitros. Right, now we've got a hang. There's no ground here. Well, there is, but I think it's actually burning hot. These have got spikes. 
Try my bubble. Right, jump down. It's safe to do so now. There you go. Not done yet. 72 wobble fruits. Right, there you go! There's another gem for our amazing gem collection! There you go. Ten of twenty-five crystals. You're on your way. I'm running low on power, so communication from this point will be difficult. Again, be wary of the pathways between wolf ruins. Remember, I'm counting on you. No pressure! Right, next boss battle. We jump on the pad. Once again, he puts his thumb up. Going up. Komodo Joe and Komodo Mo. Cold hearted and cold blooded. The brothers from the dangerous combination of brains and brawn, speed and strength, loyalty and leadership. Komodo Joe is the brains of operation. While not physically powerful, he relies on speed and cunning in a fight and is the master of a deadly art of samurai swordplay. Komodo Mo is not necessarily the most intelligent, but he lacks the brain power. Komodo Mo makes up in size at, with unbelievable strength and the force of a runaway freight train. Three health bars. There we go. Now it's two. Another tough battle, but not as difficult as the ones in Crash Bandicoot 1. Now each one has different skills. And one of them spins a lot more than my character does. So keep your distance, because one of them is armed and dangerous with swords. Once it's finished, we need to spin attack. We'll do a spin attack of our own. There we go. Superb. One more like that. Over the course of the fights, each attack will last longer. It's going well. Also, we do have the Aku Aku Marks. Right, final phase. Keep your distance. Just throwing swords. There we go. We need one more hit. Do a pow. Off the wall. Superb! Well I crashed Bandicoot, you've only gone and done it again now, haven't you? Superb! This is a show off. Good show, Crash. The Komodo brothers obviously lacked your medal. But now is not the time to get cocky. There are still many crystals to obtain. Remember, the world is counting on you. Once you play a prominent role in Corsair Strikes Back and all to be focused on Crash Bandicoot's techniques, most boxes contain Wobble Fruit, giving the player additional life when 100 of them are collected. Some boxes contain Witch Doctor's Masks, which shields Crash with one enemy attack while in possession of it. Three boxes gain you temporary invincibility. If jumped upon, boxes with an arrow up will hold Crash Bandicoot into the air higher than you would do with a normal jump, and can only be broken with a Crash Bandicoot spin attack. Boxing with an explanation mark will cause previously intangible objects in the air to solidify. There we go, we're going back into the water again. Now again, there's a time limit, but we're not going to be doing that today. It's not that sort of video today. Right, avoid the whirlpools. Avoid the mines. You cannot be invincible in the water. Right, take it nice and steady. This is another difficult level. Pull park food. Right, avoid the whirlpool. There we go, going well. Superbly done, Crash Bandicoot. Checkpoint. Done. Right, use the hose. There we go. Kill the plants. There we go. There is a bonus section. Right, on we go. What it will cost. I did fool would do that. Another life. How many I've got now? No idea. A lot. There we go. We're doing well, Crash Bandicoot. We're doing well. We've still got a lot to do, though. A lot to do. Right, on we go. Right, back in the water again. Let those boxes avoid plants. Use that boost to avoid them. They'll consume you. Right, there we go. Two one hit there, but we've got the crystal. Fantastic. Bought another plant. 
Right, let's get rid of the trouble first. Let me go back into the water again. It's all class, don't get down to your local nursery. Okay. Right, we lost a mask, but we're good to go though. Now it takes two masks to be invisible, but we can't be invisible in the water anyway. Superb! There we go. I think that is it. Avoid nitros. Use that big, big jump. There you go. Nicely done. We are awarded the gem. There you go. Next level. Now TNT boxes explode after a three second fuse when jumped on. While nitro boxes explode upon any physical contact, all the nitro boxes can be detonated at once when a green coloured box with an exclamation mark is touched. Checkpoint boxes allow Crash to return to the point where the first checkpoint box has been opened upon losing a life. If more than one checkpoint box has been opened in one stage, Crash returns to the last checkpoint box that has been opened. Right, we have a guy with a flamethrower. Avoid at all costs, otherwise it will singe us to death. And they're actually putting crates, normal crates, on nitro crates. Nasty. Right, again, we're living a life as we would do as a Ninja Turtle. Right, more electric eels. Now they're putting boxes in the water. Now these will actually sink after a short period of time. Okay, over there's a checkpoint. Right, so we've got a mask. Now again, we don't have the colour gem we need. We need a yellow one. We don't have any coloured one. All right. Again, this section contains a section which will split. More odd-looking mouse or rat. Make your choice. Right, we need one more mask to be invincible. And level like this, that'd be very handy. Right. Lots of these evil things. Spikes on the sides. There we go. There we go. Bonus round! Now in Crash Bandicoot 1, not all levels had bonus rounds. This one, every single level does them. Right, again we hit that. Which is good because otherwise we've blown up by those nitros. Yeah, find that block, we blow up every single one on that level. Whether it's on a bonus section or a secret session, it will be there and it will be destroyed. And the second we want to do, we want to get all the crates. All crates lead to a gem. Extra life. Boopow. There you go. Don't fall off the edge, Jamie. There you go. Superb Crash Bandicoot. Another life. 56. And I believe the maximum is 99. Right, there's a mask. We are invincible. Now normally, we'll use the enemies to break that turbine. Not here. Let's run for it. A crazy person. We can't be electrocuted in this form. Right. I'm going to do this correct. I'm going to do this properly. Now what we're going to try and do here is break these blades on the turbine. Now we need to wait for another one to respawn. We can't order this from Amazon. It's not that sort of thing. We've got to wait for it to respawn. So we've got three times it'll get rid of the thing completely. Now we're invincible. Why not? Bandicoot, you are a killing machine! We go left, I believe, first. We cannot be burnt to death, we can't be electrocuted. We've got a mask on our face. Be quick. There you go, we're invincible again, I believe. No, we aren't. Right, oh, you've got to wear it, wait for it to wear off until we get another one. Okay, I didn't know that. Right, unfortunately, I've gone the wrong way. I should have gone the other way first and got that exclamation mark box. Never mind, we'll go again. There it is. So, we wind a little bit. Should we go back in time a little bit? But hopefully, enemies, apart from the eel, which you can't kill, should all be dealt with. And they are. Right. Use that spin, use that slide, and use that crazy jump. So, well. Oh, there we go. Safe and sound for now. Whoa, yeah. There we go. Whoa, okay. Avoid that. I have no idea what it's called. 
Whoa, Jamie! Living dangerously, you really are. Oh, right, one through. We have them. 89, 90. Close to another life. Right, now we've got double charm. We've got electric eel and the flamethrower. Yes! Another gem! We love gems around here! We do! Absolutely fantastic! Going absolutely super really well! Next level is the road to ruin. The player will earn a gem if they manage to destroy all the boxes, including nitros, in the level. Certain gems can be acquired by other means, like reaching the end of a level within a certain time parameter, or completing the level without breaking any boxes. Right, okay. All we need is one more mask, and we'll be invincible. Don't be fair, you've been invincible in this level before. We really haven't, but this place does fall apart. It doesn't have the greatest floor in some places, but it has evil, gigantic bats. Right. We are invincible! Good to go! Checkpoint! I'm running for it! I'm running like Forrest Gump at the moment! Oh, uh, Forrest Gump wasn't kidding while he was doing it! Oh, we're not be singed! I'm safe! <laughs> oh. a killing machine! There you go, we have the crystal! Now you might have seen there was a platform there with a skull and crossbones on it! That is again... A way to get additional gem. And you really can do that. You've got to get to that point without dying. If you have died and then you get to that bit, then you can't use it. But again, it's not that sort of video today. Just doing the basics today. Maybe in the end section, we might include some more pictures. There we go. We'll visit more again. There we go. If it moves, kill it. Just run into it. Don't you, you don't have to spin anymore. Right. Bonus stage. There you go. It looks tremendous. The game really, really does look top notch. They've worked so hard in this game. It's such a shame that Naughty Dog don't make these games anymore. Right, okay. Lots of switches. And back again. And there. And there. And back again. Superb. Oh, that was risky. That life got away. Never mind. Should have plenty in my possession. One more, one more me to hit me in the face. Right, there we go. So far, so good. Again, we probably won't get the gem on this one because, again, we're not doing everything. We're just doing the basics. Now, I can hear monkeys in the distance. Right, okay. You want to be burnt to death? You can now. We don't have a mask on our face. Put a mask on our face and we're safe. But we are safe and falling into a bottomless pit. So I keep saying. Now these you have to slide. Because they're necks. They have sharp necks. Right, monkey. Use the slide because this place is falling apart. There we go. Fantastic. 57 out of 89. Well, that's the end of that level. Okay, this is my favourite level in this game. First time I saw this in the old days, I was absolutely blown away by it. Right, Mummy is not happy. We've been chased by a gigantic polar bear. Right, avoid the nitros. Avoid the electric beams. And if possible, collect all the crates. And blast your way through. Kill the lizards. As soon as I was getting killed by a crash panic spin or an angry mummy polar bear. There we go, on we go. Daddy's not happy. Now use those speedy pads to get to distances to make it a bit easier. Or Mr. the Bandicoot. Oh my lord. There we go. Gigantic lizards. There we go. Safe from Mummy and Daddy Bear. Crystal found. 48 Wobble Fruits. There we go. Bonus rounds. No polar bears down here, just lots and lots of Wobble Fruit. Crates and the occasional Nitro from time to time. Use that long jump well. You need it a lot here. Fantastic. Hit switch. Brilliant. Right. Messing this up is going to be a devastating experience for Mr. Crash Bandicoot. 
Fantastic! There we go! 100 water fruit there. Right, Nitro, dealt with. Nanny is not happy! Okay. Again, use those speedy pads. Those can electrify Crash Bandicoot, they can't electrify an angry polar bear. Going well. Granddad's not happy. Right, now we want a polar bear. Being chased by one. A much bigger one. Again, absolutely fantastic. This one's a lot faster. There you go, superb! Once again, you can fly. Now, if you go back up there, you can actually find a hidden section. Not today. Not today. As a result of that, I didn't get all the boxes. There we go, we have the crystal. Okay, another polar bear level, but this time we're not being chased by one. Another good level, but again, challenging. People didn't want me to do them today. Some difficult jumps, narrow passageways, but again, no mask. So again, everything is an instant kill. Don't go in the water, otherwise you'll end up like Johnny did at the end of The Shining. Frozen solid. Right, slippery lives. Let those crates pick up the wobble fruit. Now, do you put the occasional crate on the ice, which is never an easy task. You've got to slide into it. Right, checkpoints. Have it. Right, go over that one. Under this one. Little jump, followed by a big jump. Don't get blown up. There you go, superb. Got the seals. Under that one. Over that one. Very well. Box. Crystal. Jump. Under. Far away. Yes! That's the good one. Please with that. Oh well, don't get blown up. It's a nasty way to go. That one. Yahoo! Got all of them. Again, this level does have a secret area, but again, not today. It's fine, there's a gem. There you go, mate. Superb. Crash, my boy. You are more than halfway there. But I'm sure you've noticed that things are getting hard. The last ten crystals will be the hardest to gather. And my... <coughs> uh, our enemies will be sending their strongest forces to fortune. I'll contact you again when you have completed the next one. The one is crashing his head. He's one confused bandicoot. Right, boss battle. On we go. Tiny, a fearsome opponent, if ever there was one. Tiny has a few tricks up his enormous sleeves. Try to stay one step ahead or you might get crushed. Right, this is a very jumpy jumpy one. A bit like the first boss of Crash Bandicoot 1 with the room, that sort of thing. Right, we've got to stay on the platforms that are green and avoid the ones that are red but what we're going to try and do is make sure that he's on the ones that are red now this one is actually different each time i'm sure it is right again three blocks of energy is all there is so he's got to be in the right place at the right time but of course you must stay well ahead of him now once one has dropped they will return one more to go Again, I love the look of it, I love the music. Right, this one's more difficult because only one drops at a time. That is perfect! Yes. Look at that! Woohoo! First time, fantastic! Well I'm Crash! Fantastic! Right! Difficult level still to come. Right, next level is Hanging Out. The production of Cortex Strikes Back 
began in October 1906, the development took over the course of 13 months on a budget of $2 million. Jungle levels were originally to have featured ground fog, but this was abandoned when magazines and the public began to criticise developers for using fog to hide from the count. Sunlight and depth accentuation was experiment with these levels. Naughty Dog created the sewer levels as a way to work some dirty locations into the game. Colour contrast was added to these levels to show depth and break up the monetary of the sewer pipes. I don't know if I read that correctly. Right, we've got this evil enemy that goes very fast down these pipes. Try and keep far left or far right to avoid it. Don't get run over by a barrel. Very, very fast. Right, more crates. How are we doing for a one more count? Uh, 47. 49. Checkpoint. Right, grab the railings. So four from here is an instant kill. Now on my TV, this top section is incredibly dark, so it's very difficult to see what is raining and what isn't. But I'm hanging in there. See what I did there? Crash, you're always hanging around here, always. Okay, avoid these spiky enemies. Can't kill these unless you're invincible. Pick another mask and we will be. There we go. Go for it! Serious explosions! Right, can you use it while hanging? Yes, you can! I've never tried that before. Also, it makes you move incredibly faster. Brilliant! Expertly done, Crash Bandicoot. Yes, yeah, it's difficult to see. Press X to get off of it. Right, now we're not safe from spiky enemies. So go round them. Now, being a sewer, it's difficult to move around. There's not a lot of room to move. Right, we took a hit there. That's fine. It's a flesh wound. Right, uh, 37, 38, 39, 41. Now, if you go down screen, there's actually a secret area. We have the crystal. Right, more rats. There we go. Super. The character of Coco Bandicoot was created by Naughty Dog as a counterbalance for Tornia, who was Crash Bandicoot's girlfriend in the first game. This was appeased to Sony Computer Entertainment Japan, who were uncomfortable with a super sexy character alongside Crash Bandicoot. The character design of Coco began on March 18, 1997. Right, so many nitros. Look at the nitro staircase. Avoid the nitro staircase. Lots of TNTs, lots of ACDC. That's so completely different. Right, Jamie, you might need to edit this down. So much bouncing. Now, if you want to get all the boxes to get the gem, you've got to jump on these eight times. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Get ready. Eight. The amount of times I killed me the old days, I hit losing count every time I jumped them. Right, here we go again. Lots of nitros. One, two, three, four. No more nitros. Six eyebrows got any closer. Right, go. I'm not far away. Now, these platforms will sink if you stay on it for too long. I see a gem! We have it! There we go! <laughs> Next level is digging it! Not one of my favourites this one, which is why I'm not going to be statistics while doing it. Now we have these plants, they spit bombs at you, and there's a delay until it explodes. You can't kill these plants yet, but later on you can. Confused? We'll find out later on. There's a delay to these exploding bombs. And once you've passed them, then they'll go back to the normal form. But again, you can't kill him like that. Not yet, anyway. Right, I need another mask. And also, this level has evil bumblebees. And they're deadly as well. You get stunned by that. I make your arms grow in size and your face grow in size. Okay. Wobber fruit, we have 35. The level does look like one of those levels we've been chased by a polar bear or a boulder. 
Because we have those fast pads. And the mines. Right. Don't forge a bomber's pit. There we go. We have a mask. Gonna use this well. Go, go, gadget. Run, run, run. Do not be electrified like this. Now you can kill the plants that way. That's not how I meant earlier on today. You'll find out again. Let me say, soon enough. Keep going, keep going. It's gonna wear off. It's gonna wear off. It's worn off. Right. Bonus stage. So many bonus stages in this game. So many lives in this game. So much to do in this game. Great game! Right. Number one. Right. These metal ones, believe it or not, you can't break those. Right, there's a life at the top there. Risk it if you so wish. I'm gonna not risk it. Now, even though you can't die on a bonus stage, if you do fall into a bottomless pit, you do actually lose your masks. So, another reason why I'm not gonna risk it for a biscuit. Jump over the nitros. There we go. Oh, level like this, I don't be losing my masks. Alright, we're not done yet, but there's a checkpoint. Alright. Again, choice of routes. I'm going right, as that's the easiest route. The other way is you want to get a gem. Right, bumblebees! They can either run away from them, or you can actually attack them. But they're evil. They always are. Right, oh, there's another one. It doesn't hurt you. It might look like it. Okay, right. Bees and electrical beans. That is not a nice combination. And kill them, though. Right, checkpoint. Right, now we can go under the ground, as round as it sounds. This is how we kill plants. So, there we go, no match for a bandicoot underground. And we use that to kill bees as well. Where is another mask? I desperately want one. I desperately need one. I don't want to lose masks now. I want to gain them now. There you go, I didn't see that coming, I did I? Right. Go underground as soon as you get here. Only do this on this texture of ground. There we go, evil things. And you. Right, checkpoints. No masks. Go, go. They sound lethal. They really do. Now those guys with hammers, they actually attack you when you're underground. Right, go for it. Now in Crash Bandicoot 3, they did introduce a sprint. That would be good here. However, in the remakes, they included the sprint on all... Crash Bandicoot games. Right, that was brilliant. I'm pleased to get that one out of the way. I didn't get a gem. I don't mind that at all. We're alive and well. We wasn't stunned to death. I am pleased to get that one out of the way. Right. Crash, I haven't had much time. Cortex has almost completed the new space station. Something is not right with his statements. Beware of the tricks. Beware, Crash Bandicoot. Beware. Right, next level. Also, Touchpad was released incredible claim. Major Might of Game Pro has said that one of the fundamental gameplay mechanics was the same as the first game. Its graphical enhancements and added moves catapulted the game to the PlayStation Action Platform. He gave it 4.5 out of 5 in both control and fun factor. And a perfect five for graphics and sound. 
John Brody of GameSpot considered the game a superior to its predecessor, commenting positively on the walkthrough concept and improved save system and the variety of levels. Right, 72 lives. Right, we go up. Another difficult level, but again, it looks tremendous. Checkpoint. Right. Avoid that. Avoid those. Now, platforms occasionally drop from time to time. Okay. So far, so good. Right, up there. We've got to get really, really high. Yeah, not going to bounce all of them. Just get them. Right, bonus stage. Why not? Uh, there we go. Don't fall off the edge crash. Right, okay. TNT. Let them do their thing. That should explode all of them. And so should that. Well, that sound on TNT is actually my message tone on my phone. It has been for about 10 years. There you go, that's some serious boom boom pow, that is. There you go, more fruit than Tesco's. It's getting that life. There you go. 30 boxes. Confirmed. Another life. Confirmed. 73 now. There you go. Even that sets off the TNT explosion. Alright, take it nice and steady. This level again has hedgehogs. Wait for the spikes to go in, then go for the kill. Go for a slide. Can't do that to Sonic the Hedgehog. Alright! Mask! Now Sonic the Hedgehog can't do that! He has his own way of doing things. Right, we're invincible! Just don't fall off a cliff. There we go. Keep going, Jamie, keep going. You're a killing machine, Crash Bandicoot. Gonna wear off. Okay, right, more TNTs. Again, let them do the work. You don't earn a Wumble Fruit from that, but at least it saves you a bit of time. And Paint Wings can also spin just as much as Crash Bandicoot can. Right, I could actually torch this poor little guy. Could be bad for that. Right, that wasn't good. Right, again, let him do his thing. Yeah, I didn't see that coming, did he? Okay! 38 more fruits. They're evil. So many enemies in this game that have spikes or fiery sides. You've got to be so precise of what attack you do. Right like behind here is switches. You can't see much of them, but they are there. Right. Oh, the fool would spin near that. Jumped on his head, he exploded. Right. Some more difficult sections. Slide on the ice is horrible. Right, I'm going to risk it. It's risky, as you can tell, it is. There's a knife behind there. Good run up. Go, go, go. Use the crates to stop you in your tracks. Alright, it's a it's a long level this one. It's going well. More penguins. Alright, there's the crystal. Avoid that. That was a good shot. That was a really good shot. I did not mean to do that. Alright. <laughs> Some of that evil chocolate. Right, more rollers. Right, this one falls. I'm sure it does. Checkpoint. All night shows have been dealt with. Ugh! <sighs> 
Go, go, go! Another seriously tough level, which is very nearly done. Again, probably won't get the gem. There is areas you can go. There's no secrets. Again, it's in my sights. Yes! Nice! 139 of 155. Viewers, let's try gaming monthly view team, Sean Smith and Craig Crower, how do you understand the sequel? Citing its advanced graphics and heavy challenge, while Dan Hugh and Kenny Ricketts sense it's an excellent game, but overly similar to the original. The staff at IGN praised its modern controls, noted the increased linearity of the game and the increased intuition of the bonus levels compared to the first game. Mark Cook, a game revolution, described the game as undeniably fun. Next Generation stated that Crash Bandicoot 2 is a tempting gameplay treat that will frustrate at times but also rewards a job well done, and that is a digital combination of a serious platform gamer. Highly recommend it. Again, difficult to read while doing this. Another superb level, but again, the weather is absolutely horrendous. A lot to see, a lot to do once again. A platform will fall beneath you from time to time. Right, we've got Monkey and the TNTs. Right, keep moving. Avoid the nitros. Over here is another mask. We need two more needed. One more needed. For this switch, we're actually bringing to contention more nitros. Lots of them. Right, another monkey. Right, we don't have the green gem. So we'll be going over there. Right, avoid these and we'll be burned to a crisp. Right, we need another mask. 70 Watford. Again, the levels look absolutely superb. Right, bonus section. Let's go for it. Okay, bonus round. Hit that crate. That's important. Crash Bandicoot can jump three blocks high, not four blocks high. But keep those three in place. You need to hit the fourth. Right, don't fall off the edge. Again, expert belly pop skills. Nice. Right, hit the crate. Switch before we head. Nice. And again. Superb. Right, belly pop skills. He does it very well. 67 hover fruits. Right, TNT, crate, and belly pop skills. There we go. And again, let's see that in this replay now, shall we? There you go, well done, mate. Superb work. Lots and lots of water, lots and lots of crates. Don't go off the edge. These take eight bounces, but if you fall from a great big height, that will reduce them by quite a lot. What a lot of water, 105. My life. Keep going. Keep going. Showboating Crash Bandicoot. There you go. Superb. 79 lights. 80 lights. And a lot of one for fruit. Still what to do. You see a monkey in the distance. Again, yeah, platforms fall beneath you. Right, we need our mask to be invincible. Gotta be torched. Here we go, we're invincible. Don't fall off the edge. It's the only thing that can kill you when you're invincible in this level. There's no water here. Keep going, keep going. Right, take it nice and easy. Now there are platforms that are slanted. If it's wet, you're going to slide a lot. And this is where we need the lightning to see where they are. Sometimes they're very difficult to see. Also, my monitor screen is taking up that white section of the screen. I can't see it all that well. There we go. Superb. There's the crystal. Right. Right, there's another mask over there. 
That one doesn't even have a box. That's uh, quite risky. Okay, don't mess this up. Right. Oh. That was tough, and we were rewarded with a gem. We're going to end it with a mask on our face. There you go, I've never done that before. Okay, another seriously difficult level. Again, not one of my favourites. We can be killed by a guy in his hammer. We can be killed by bombs with his pet on mouth. And we can also be stunned to death. They're all dangerous things, they can all kill you. But not if you have a mask on your face. We're safe from all of that. Now we can't be killed by a hammer. We can't be blown up by bombs we spit out of plants' mouths. And we can't be stunned to death. All because we have a mask on our face. Just don't fall into a bombless pit. Now unfortunately, it doesn't last overly long. And also, this level, only one mask to pick up. You've got to use it wisely. Right. We've got a crazy difficult situation. Surrounded by danger. But it's rewarding. Right, we go underground. They can be hurt by nitros underground. Also, there's bees with spawn. Unfortunately. Right. Underground, it's safe. At this level, I've never done without taking damage. Look at this guy. One side is happy and one side is miserable. You can't kill him. Even invincible, you can't kill him. Go. Alright, checkpoint. So far, so good. Not a lot to do, though. Alright, go. Watch out for the guy and his hammer. Alright, another one like that. Quickly, quickly. Go, go, go. That staircase, even though it's nitros, is actually a secret area. We're safe from those nitros. But again, it's not that sort of long day today. Right, avoid this thing. It's probably the easiest bit of this level. Right, this is probably the most difficult bit. Right. Got it. Really pleased with that. Go, go, go. Nice. Keep it going, Jamie. Keep it going. Right, I'm happy with that. Go, go, go. Checkpoint, I'm delighted with that. Really pleased with that. Right, follow the path of Wobble Fruit. Now, some of these bonus stages are quite easy, and some of them are really difficult, but it's not too bad. Yeah, it's quite surprising, really. Just take it one step at a time, don't fall off the edge. That's easily done. Really easily done. Right, nitros are bad. Crates on top are good. Please with that. Nice. Ninety-nine, just short of another life. Go. So evil and deadly. In that order. Here it comes. Ugh. Nitros! Get out of there, Jamie. There's no bees around here now. I think we're safe. There we go. I'm absolutely over the moon with that. We have a gem. I think that was most difficult in the first one I did. There we go. 
Crash, I have discovered that the opposition is being masterminded by Dr. Nitrus Brio, the inventor of the Evolvo Ray. Brio was responsible for our misunderstandings in the past. He forced me to assist him in his plot for world domination, and he's at it again. He will attempt to stand in our way. Be on your guard, Crash. Use the platform to deliver the crystals to Angel. There we go. Boss battle. On we go, Crash Bandicoot. Engine was taken in by Cortex shortly after one of his missile projects went terribly wrong and hit him in the head. The missile was reconstructed as a cyber life support system, but he's still alive. So don't upset him or he'll literally blow his top. Right, this is the only boss in this game which I believe has more than three energy bars. He has a lot of weapons up his sleeve. You've got to hit the areas that are flashing, but they're not open for very long. He does have a lot of weapons. Again, it looks tremendous. We've got to attack him in a different way. We've got to use Wobble Fruit. Luckily, we have unlimited supply. And Crash Bandicoot has seen a lot of Wobble Fruit today. There you go, that's his right hand. Right. Every time we remove one of his weapons, he loses his energy bar. Or part of his energy bar. Now, I don't know if you can actually fall off the edge. I'm really not sure. Never tried, but then why would you? There we go, another one gone. Three bars remain. And of course, he's got more weapons. Missiles. Are these quite more tricky to get? Not open for very long, but they're going to take quite as many hits, though. Again, it's not overly bad. He pretty much sticks to the same pattern each time. Not too bad at all. Again, superb. There you go, another one. Weapon. It's a great big laser which takes away the entire platform. We've run away quickly, but that platform does come back. It's just a good thing. Yeah, it's about being in the right place at the right time. There you go! Master Cortex will be very Brilliant. pleased with your resistance! Prepare to suffer his wrath! Last one, Crash Bandicoot! Okay, five levels to go! And they're gonna be tough, they always are! Uh, what is your problem, Bandicoot? I will not ask you again to bring me the crystals! Obtain the remaining five crystals, Crash, and bring them to me. Okay, piston it away. <laughs> Crash Bandicoot 2 was a commercial hit. By late February 1998, in sales in Japan and Europe, had reached 800,000 and 340,000 respectively. In the United States, it counted for 1 million copies by that time, and by February 1999, 4.08 million copies of Crash Bandicoot have shipped to retailers worldwide. The NPD group reported selling 1.49 million copies in North America alone. By December 2007, Quartet Shock had sold 3.78 million units in the United States and 1.3 million in Japan. This makes the game one of the best selling PlayStation video games of all time. The game's success resulted in a re-release for the Sony Greatest Hits lineup on August 30th, 1998, and a platinum range in 1999. The game replaced Crash Bandicoot as the highest selling non-Japanese title in Japan, selling over 800,000 copies by April 1998. Right, this is a tough level. It's difficult because of the enemies. They've got to hit him in a certain way. Either spin them, slide them, or jump on them. The problem is, over the course of the level, they switch between the two. Yeah, it keeps you on your toes. Take it nice and steady. 
Right, 63 water fruit. This one you got a slide, it's too hot to touch. This one is electrified. Hit it by jumping on its top. Don't be fattened. There we go. Don't fall off the edge. I think the slide is probably my preferred attack. Right, they need to switch between the two. Which is nasty. Right. This whole area is difficult. Again, too hot to touch. Slide it. I don't think you can spin those. I think the only way is sliding them. Right. Go fall off the edge. It's easily done. Again, not a lot of masks. Not a lot of wobble fruit in this case. Don't be electrified. Alright, don't be squished. Right. We've got the crystal. Now it's different perspective. Alright, another mask. Again, don't be burnt. Right. Tricky. Luckily, this game doesn't have a time limit, which is marvellous. Right, I'll have to call. Now this thing will actually shrink you in size, and eventually you'll disappear, but only when you hit the pad. Now the arrow will tell you which way the beam will go, or which way the beam will come from. So don't stand there for too long. Oh dear. Right, bonus stage. Why not? Okay. Why is it been all day? Concentrate, really am. Right, again, we've got nitros. Avoid the nitros. Okay, we'll jump over more nitros. Don't want to mess this up. I really, really don't. Um, if I go back, I can't remember. I can't remember. Um, no, I'm not going to. I don't know. I cannot remember. I really can't. Doesn't matter. We'll go anyway. That was close. I think I might have missed a few there. In fact, I think it's guaranteed. This is too risky. Far too risky. Yes, there. Three boxes. Never mind. Not the end of the world. We didn't take any hits. <laughs> Checkpoint. Look <laughs> at oh, these comical guys. I hit him off the edge. Which is also them screaming their head off. Go. Again, I don't think I've ever done this level without taking any damage. I want to lose it now. If we get to the end of this level without losing any of my masks, then we're going to be invincible next time we pick one up on the next level. Alright, it's a life. Again, it's in the middle of some dangerous territories. Go well! Nice! I've done it! I think it's the first time I've ever done it! There we go! So, we've got a good mask! There we go, we need that for future times! <laughs> Course of Shows Back was initially released for a European PlayStation Network on July 26, 2007, but was withdrawn on August 7th, 2007, along with Spyro 2, Gateway to Glimmer, and Medieval, as precautionary measures when the latter two games experienced technical problems. 
Game was released on North America PlayStation Network on January 10th, 2008. And we released on the European PlayStation Network on February 2nd, 2011. Right, again, challenging, but all we need is one more marsh and we'll be invincible. So, take it one stage at a time. Now this one, I'm not going to risk the bonus stage, because I don't want to lose this mask. As crazy as it sounds, I want to get this video done today. Again, it's challenging. Right, checkpoint. We have it. Crates, we have it. Nitros, avoid them. Right. So quick. They switch so quick. One mistake, and you lose your mask. Have some of that. Right, okay, we need to slide. There we go. And again. Slides. The best way to do it, I think. Alright. Checkpoint. Some of that. Alright. Right, I'm not going to do it. Because there is a mask. We're going to be invincible instead. Go. It's the first time I've been invincible on this level. And I've said that quite a lot today. Definitely makes it easier. Really fly through it. There we go. Nice. Right, 50 Wumper Fruits. Now, platforms also have really hot edges. Very made a mistake. Right. Now amazingly, that's not pressing that pad. Will be shrunk. There we go. I'm delighted with that. Once again, again, I didn't get all the gems, but I'm not that overly bothered about it. We got through the level, safe and sound. That's all that matters. Okay, this is Rocket. Something completely different. No longer we running on our feet or flying through the air. We have a jetpack. So everything is completely different. So, R1, you fly forward. L1, you fly back. Down is up, and up is down. Now, I have a good mask. I cannot remember if you can pick up masks in this level. I absolutely have no idea. I'm assuming so, but I might be wrong. It's been so long, I can't remember. But, there's a lot to avoid. Now, if you're playing this for the first time, I have to admit, I did struggle in the old days when I first played this. It did take some getting used to, but it's really well done. Now, you can pick up additional hopper through along the way. And of course, your crates, your nitros, all feature here. Do you get masks? So, it's definitely a lot more slow paced, this one. Again, it's something they haven't tried before. Of course, the more Crash Bandit games were made, the more skills he had. And he did have quite a lot of skills towards the end. Alright. Look at that crate. The TNT crate. Stuck. There we go. Okay. Hit by those. Right, if you get the occasional enemy and they are electrified. Now they take two hits. Again, avoid being electrified. What we're gonna try and do is hit him into that area that you can't go through. I don't know what it is, some sort of force field. You gotta hit him into it. That allow you to go through. Right. Have cables. Something I see a lot in my front room. These ones electrify you. Right, we go through the centre. I'm assuming we don't keep masks here. I'm just, I'm guessing. I'm absolutely guessing here, but I'm guessing so. 
Right, uh, another enemy. Electrified, of course. Alright, okay. Go! Have some of that! Checkpoints. Go. Can you go quite fast? You hold your finger down on the button. You can. Just don't fly into something. You shouldn't. Right. Right, we have the question. Can't be too much more left to go. Yes! Right, okay, right, no mask is confirmed. Nice one, we're back on solid ground. Amazing, I got a gem there. Didn't think I would. Shabby at all, that one. Okay, another tough level. We cannot have a Crash Bandicoot game without a level that involves about being in the dark. The first game had one as well, it was called The Lab. Now, it was actually Aku Aku himself that provided you with the lights. Not this time, with the Dragonfly. The trouble is, it runs out. There's so many enemies, so many bothers pits. So much to look out for. You do get masks. Some enemies, you've got to slide them. Got spiky necks. Again, the light runs out very, very quickly. And my problem is I'm using my streaming lights and they're actually reflecting onto the TV. Making it really difficult to see. Right, these got spiky necks, so slide into them. There's a few of those in this level. One, there's two. Never mind, still alive and well. Uh, but these do provide you a little bit of light, only a little bit. You can't kill them with spiky edges. Again, those bottomless pits, you see them very, very late. But they're there. Right, we've got the crystal. We have light. Not much, but it'll do. See! It does look spectacular, it really, really does. Right, bonus stage, and even that works in the same way. Pick up a track and fly. Be quick about it. Again, don't fall into a bottomless pit. Be quick, be quick. Be quick, or we'll be in the dark. Crouching, keep crawling. Right, I can't see anything. Well, I that was that was a risk. I couldn't see what I was doing. I don't even know what I've collected. I don't know what I've missed. I'm sure I missed something. Oh, I'm still going. Can't be too far away. Alright, come off a cliff. Fine. Plenty of lives. Right, I can't see. Right, it's fine. Still going. Okay, that's a split section. Okay. There we go. Again, I couldn't see much there. It faded so quickly. There's too many pits to fall into. Mayday, I cannot see. I can't see. However, I was killed in the dark. There's more bombers pits in the dark than it is on a level that's lit. Yeah, I'm just gambling. 
There you go. I don't know what I got, what I miss, but I didn't get a gem. Oh, I missed two boxes. Not bad as soon as the dark. There you go. Okay, Crash Bandicoot. It is now 10 to 2 in the morning. We've got one level to do. Let's get it done. Got on the jetpack. Let's get out of here. Again, it's challenging. But it looks the bee's knees. But again, we have hazards. Again, we have bubble fruit. Again, we have boxes to find. And again, it is a bit fiddly on the controls. You can get stuck from time to time. Right, that's the crate. Put it in reverse gear. There you go. Forward gear. Now, masks, we don't have any. We don't have anything. Now, I have completed this game many, many times. I really have. But doing a long play does add so much more difficulty to it. But it's what I do with my videos. It's what I do with my audience. All you guys. And hopefully you enjoy. What we'll do now is edit it. And if you're watching it, I've already done it. Alright, don't get singed. That'd be a nasty look for Mr. Bandicoot. Alright, one spin is not enough. We need two. We need the shock of his life. There you go. Still going. Alright, 90 lives. We didn't reach 100 on this long play. Thought we would, but in saying that, I'm not collecting everything. Right, dodgy cables and the evil laser beams. Alright, checkpoints. What it's going to take is one hit and we'll be dead. Oh, we do get them! Ah, oh, okay. Okay. I have no idea it would be invincible. I'm guessing not. Right, double trouble. Alright, on the box. Now you press triangle, it updates you with your status. It's taking me all this far to tell you about that. But there we go. We have 90 lives, 12 boxes, and 30 mob fruits. And a partridge and a pear tree. There you go, vaporize! There we go! We've got to do what we've got to do to make it safe to go through. Checkpoints. Again, it looks amazing. Now, the remake, which I do have and I have completed, is so much more difficult than this. They really did up the ante on the difficulty. Alright, follow the Bobber Fruit Trail. Again, it's easy to get stuck. Okay, go, go, go. Yes! Nice. Alright, there's the crystal. Took some time, but there it is. Not done yet. Not far away. Fantastic! Nice! There we go, we've got gem to our amazing gem collection! And we have all the crystals! Okay, next phase. There you go, that's the final crystal! If my calculation is correct, that is 25. I mean, we didn't get all the gems, there's four to do in the game, we didn't get all of them. But we got a good quantity. Yeah, you have a little dance. Why not? We're close to finishing this long play. <laughs> yes! My plan is nearly complete. And I have you, Crash Bandicoot, to thank for. Engine! What's happening? What's that? Is he stealing our signal? Cortex isn't going to use the crystals to contain the planet's energy. He's going to harness the force 
and use it to power the super cortex vortex he has built on his space station. One blast of the ray will cover the entire world, turning everyone into Cortex's mindless slaves. Crash, don't let him have those crystals. And Jen, you fool! She's telling him everything! Ah, uh, yes. We're, uh, we're, we're back now. Pardon the, uh, interruption. Crash. Bring me cr There we go, then try to ward him, but there we go. Now we've got to do it the hard way. We mustn't let him escape. Okay, here we go. Crash Bandicoot versus Cortex. The final confrontation between good and evil. And we're both flying. We both have jetpacks. We've got to hit him three times. Before he reaches the end of the tunnel. And it looks tremendous. We have rocks which can be spun. If you fly into it without spinning, it's going to slow you down. A lot. Right, there's two. Only three hits. It's not a lot for a final boss, really. Quick, we're running out of tunnel. One more hit, so it takes. There we go. Ow! No! You haven't seen the last of me, Crash. Fantastic. There you go. It's a hard life, isn't it? Crash, what do you suppose happened to Cortex? And what about the Cortex Vortex? It's still up there. It is still up there. If we found all the gems, it won't be. Well, that's a lot of work to do. I've done it before. It took a long time. But there we go. I mentioned it before. It's not that sort of long play today. But there we go. Tremendous game. Absolutely fantastic. I've long played one. Now I've long played two. But there we go. Crash Bandicoot Cortex stretch back. And that is a long play done. This is Jamie from Wonders Games. Please like, subscribe, be share. Please subscribe to my channel. Please subscribe to my fan page. Please subscribe to my Twitch. Just type in more of games, you find it fairly easy. And please remember to click the bell icon. That loads of videos that load, fantastic. For the digital videos you haven't been making, live streams, if you find it like, you can time at 8 o'clock, time of week. Till next time, take it easy. Ciao, bye, see ya. Okay, let's go for a speed run. Show us going to get a gem. Now, you've got to try and get to the exit before the time reaches zero. At the moment, there's no time. Soon there will be. Don't forget all the boxes, just get there as quick as you can. If you make it in that time limit, you get a gem. There we go, we've got a minute. Let's go for it. It's crazy. We've been so busy doing this long play, collecting all the boxes. We're trying to collect all the boxes. Now I'm avoiding them. There we go. Use that boost. Don't use it when you go into a mine. 43 seconds. Get a move on, Jamie. Avoid the bonus stage. That will stop the timer. There we go. One hippo, two hippos. Water, 25 seconds to go. I might have missed a few boxes, just a few. 12 seconds to go. Should be in the bag, it should be. There we go. Five seconds, four seconds, three seconds, boom! Have some of that. There we go. Okay, the mystery of the blue gem. Now, this was the one which I just could not solve in the old days. I tried everything. I looked high, I looked low, I looked in, out, over, under, everywhere. Just couldn't solve it. Bear in mind, I was quite young. It was just bugging me. I thought, what am I doing wrong? I just cannot find it. It's almost like it doesn't exist. It does exist. But what you got to do is you've got to avoid the boxes altogether. I mean, who would know that in the old days? I certainly didn't. I think eventually I saw it in a magazine. But yeah, you've got to avoid all the boxes. You just go from start to finish without collecting a single box. But yeah. I know it now. I didn't know it back then. Yeah, it's quite simple now when you think about it. But yeah, avoid all of the boxes. So no masks, no wobble fruit, no additional lights. Just go from start to finish. I mean, this was years. I mean, years and years and years and years of trying. So I was quite happy when I finally figured out. But yeah. Going well though. I'm not kidding a lot either. 
go. Let's just skip that. But that should be a gem. There you go, you see? Blue gem. Fantastic. Lime. In Australia, Crash Bango 2 follows the adventures of the Crash Stupidity. First level is Turtle Woods. Taking place in the fictional game. Ni oh, no, that's three mistakes already. This is the first level. Right. Crash Bandicoot 2 follows the adventures of the Anthropomorph... The Anthropomorphic. Anthropomorphic. Dr. Neo Cortex who tricks him into thinking he wants to say... Ha! 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 Oh, yeah! Crash sister Coco and Cortex's former assistant, Dr. Neo Broyo. Okay, what's the mark? First level. This is Turkle. Turkle. Turkle? Turkle. Turkle. It's not Turkle, Jamie. Okay, this is the game. It's the first level. This is Tiger Woods. Tiger Woods. Okay, this is the first level. This is Tiger Woods. Jamie, Tiger Woods is a golfer. This is Turtle Woods. Close, but no cigar. Okay, this is the first level. This is Tiger Wood. I keep saying it now. Right, Jamie, this is not Tiger Woods. Ah, my lord. Total. 